Hi, welcome again to yet another presentation from Hectronics India. In this video, we'll look into the various types of ELM327 based OBD port scanners for your vehicle. So one thing to keep in mind is that there is no such thing as original ELM327. This is all myth. First of all, an original ELM327 chip itself will cost more than 2000. Apart from the cost factor, many vendors brand it as version 1.5 whereas there is no version 1.5 released by ELM the only versions available are 1.4 or version 2.1 so going into details of the ELM 327 so basically some of the earlier ELM 327 based scanners were based on the PIC 18F microcontroller and they were using the same stolen code from the ELM corporation so if you look inside those uh, scanners they would look like something like this so here you have a PIC 18F base microcontroller it can be 25K80 or 24 series or something like that but basically it would look something like this with uh, a Bluetooth module on top and a PIC microcontroller at the bottom and, and this green PCB is basically doing the voltage conversion 5V and 3.3V and so you have various types like one is this type where you have PIC 18F2480 and a different Bluetooth module and, and instead of SMD based LEDs it will have a 3mm LED so these were the various models which were available earlier some of the newer models that we are seeing is like based on MCP2515 so there is no microcontroller as such basically this is the CAN controller and this lower part of the circuit contain the 7805 and LM117 which is a 3.3 volt regulator so we basically they replace the PIC microcontroller with the MCP2515 CAN controller and if you look at the upper part of the circuit here is the Bluetooth chip and here is the TGA1040 CAN transceiver so now the problem with this model and these models are that these older models support older cars and all those things but they use this stolen code which have lot of bugs and there are no fixes for them and there will be no updates also for these things so going forward these things will become obsolete and these things cannot decode all the newer protocols and all those things and these things cannot decode all the newer protocol specification and all those things and act as a bottleneck between the software on your phone which is doing the decoding and the actual data coming whereas these newer versions have their own limitations because it can only support protocols which are CAN based and it cannot support any older protocols so it will work with only very very limited set of vehicles but most of the newer vehicles support CAN protocol and so this will work with most of the newer vehicles which are manufactured after 2014 but any vehicle manufactured before 2010 or 2013 this is this may not work and even for like newer vehicles also I cannot guarantee about this because each vehicle is still using their own proprietary protocols and something but if we generalize like it will work with like m most of the newer vehicles which are manufactured after 2014 and as you can see like there is no microcontroller here so all this all the decoding of the OBD messages has to be done on the PC or the mobile phone or the actual software will do all the decoding there is no code logic done here so one of the good points for this is like there is no issue with pirated code and bugs and all those things and it will work much more efficiently with for the newer models whereas these devices will work much better for the older cars and other devices so i hope you like this presentation about elm327 base different obd2 port scanners thanks for watching